All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Jeff Hathorne, Michael Kravitz, Point Park Brad, producing the Pirate Game tonight, and also a employee at Coons Market on Banksville Road. He is shooting good people there. The best people. Joe usually sits right there on Friday, so you're in a very good position, Mr. Hathorne. Okay, talk about the Pirates. He and I were talking moments ago. Tyler Glass now is up. Jacob Stallings is up. Uh, Santana. So you got a catcher and two pitchers and a few other pitchers. So what do you make of all of that? September. Well, I think the big thing is Wednesday is going to be the start to watch. It's Tyler Glass now start. Did he learn something, or is there something that he got from AAA during his time back that he can now bring into the majors? I think it's big for his offseason to have a couple of starts. It doesn't have to be perfect, but he can be good in the majors. Something to put into his brain as he gets into spring training because he'll again be fighting for a rotation spot because if, if nothing changes, everyone's under contract that's on that pitching staff. So he's going to have to find a way to break through, beat somebody out, uh, and I think these next couple of starts, if he gets them, would be big for him. Brawl goes tonight. You can hear it. They're taking on Milwaukee at Miller Park right here on 93.7 The Fan. Steelers, Big Ben, uh, two touchdown passes, Jesse James and uh, Antonio Brown, 11 catches, came up big, especially in the second half. And they get a win at Cleveland, obviously a very close win. Well, he was a beast. Antonio Brown, he was like the best player in the playground. You know, you get him the ball. You know, if this is a basketball game, you just keep feeding him. And that's what they did. You feed Antonio Brown. He was outstanding. I thought Le'Veon Bell was rusty. I don't care what Mike Tomlin says. He wasn't ready to play. He hadn't had enough time around his guys. Doesn't mean he was in horrible shape. But you need to have repetitions with your guys. I don't care how long you've been around. And I think that showed. That'll be better against the Vikings this week. Uh, and they found a way to win. I thought defensively, you take the penalties out. I thought defensively, they played well. I know it's a rookie quarterback. I know Crowell can be hot or cold. They went on the road, seven sacks, made some defensive plays. Uh, I thought defensively it was encouraging considering they lost to it early in the game and they're working in new pieces. Pitt, come on now. Danucci, quarterback controversy. You got Max Brown. I think okay. Could have done better, I'm mm -hmm. sure. But it is Penn State. But you're saying... I'm just saying this. Watch. If this week is a struggle, and that, so let's say the let's just say worst case scenario, the Oklahoma State get, game gets away from them, and in the second half they bring in Danucci because the game's decided, and Danucci does positive things. I think that following week against Georgia Tech, you could have a new quarterback. Okay, let's go back to the NFL tonight. Westwood one right after the Allegheny Health Network program, Medical Frontiers. Adrian Peterson, eleven thousand seven hundred forty-seven yards, about ten years in the league. And now he's a saint going against his old team, Minnesota. Will Teddy Bridgewater ever return to their starting position? I don't know what's going to happen. I'm kind of curious because I haven't really followed the Vikings too much this offseason. I am curious for the Adrian Peterson back to Minnesota thing. And I think what he adds to the, how do the Saints work him into the offense? Is he just a little part? Is he someone that they're really going to feature? I don't know. We're going to find that out. But it's good for Steeler fans to get a chance to hear from the Vikings. The LA uh, Chargers, Phillip Rivers, Ben's oh. age, and then tonight it's the Denver Broncos, second part of that doubleheader, and we'll have it. I feel you. bad for the Chargers, man. They're playing at a soccer stadium that seats like 30,000. They can't get interest there. But what a disaster move for the NFL. Why you move the Chargers from San Diego, where they were beloved, to a place where nobody cares about them. I and mean, they're going to have games, mark my words, It'll look like some of the worst pirate games that you've seen. There'll be nobody in those stands. The NFL will force the network not to show the stands and see how bad it is, but you'll see from pictures. No one's going to go to watch their games. They're going to be horrible, and those four, poor players are just out there on a limb. Jeff Hathorne, News Radio 1020, KDK, and 93.7, The Fan. Good night.